I took a bunch of employment classes and I learned what actually happened in the Northeast. Um, so, is everybody familiar with the Industrial Revolutions? So, first Industrial Revolution, steam engine, second Industrial Revolution, the assembly line, third, took place in 1969. It was the PLC. Does everybody, who here knows what a PLC is when I say programmable logic controller? Okay, great, most people. That, ha that came in 1969. Uh, who were the first nations to adopt Industry 3 technology? There's only two of them. Well, that's a problem. It was Japan and Germany. And the United States didn't start adopting that technology en masse until the mid-80s when it was too late. So we didn't leverage technology to do more with less. Does everybody agree that a programmable logic controller is a much more efficient use of technology than a huge panel on a wall with ice cube relays controlling your processes? Everybody agrees with that, I hope. So what American companies had to do was go someplace where the labor was really cheap to catch up. That's what actually happened. I learned, oh wow, technology is the reason all those jobs went away. Our, our lack of adopting that technology. I also learned that the industrial revolutions are a natural evolution of civilization. They will always happen. If we vaporize the earth, every single one of us is dead. And the only thing that's left are bacteria and cockroaches human beings will evolve again, they will civilize, and the industrial revolutions will happen all over again. And that's an empirical certainty. So what that meant was there would be a fourth industrial revolution. So in the 90s, I learned, oh, there's gonna be another technological revolution. This is, this is how companies evolve, right? This is the technology S curve, first industrial revolution, we had very low return in the first industrial revolution, then exponential return on value, and then it plateaued. And then we had groundbreaking innovation where the lighthouse is. And then the second industrial revolution started. And then the same thing happened with the third. And then the same thing happened with the fourth. Right now, all of you, no matter what industry you're in, you're either in this technology S curve here for industry three, or you're in industry four. Okay, you're in one of those two places. Do you know that the vast majority of manufacturers and those in industry, 11 out of 12 in fact, will not jump past the lighthouse? Only one in 12 will make the leap. Does that surprise, that number surprise anybody? Okay, one in 12. How many of you are with companies that are older than 25 years? Okay, one in 12 of you are going to make it. One in 12. How many of you are decision makers? Okay, a lot of you. How many of you are in manufacturing? How many of you are not in manufacturing, but you're like in IT or services? Okay, so, and is there any other industry I didn't hit? Healthcare. So we've got healthcare, we've got IT services, we've got manufacturing here, okay? Uh, education. education. So I spoke in Tulsa a couple days ago, and it was all healthcare and higher ed. And there was nobody in that room who was gonna make it. Nobody. 